Bruce Hornsby talks about all the kind things that Elton John has said about him through the years. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. I was so touched by the way it is in 1986 that it was one of those JFK musical moments for me. And I know you've heard me talk about those moments a lot on this channel because they literally changed the direction I was going musically. And the way it is, even though I was a big Elton John fan, Elton was not playing that type of piano when The Way It Is came out by Bruce Hornsby. I remember stopping in my tracks. I was in my basement. I was trying to fix up some old reel-to-reels. And then it came on the radio and I stopped everything I was doing and I just looked over and I went, what is that? Who is that? Well, it turns out Elton John did the same thing when he heard The Way It Is. Yeah, Elton John had some really nice things to say about, you know, when, when, we first, when I first came out, uh, sort of about me bringing the piano back and, and inspiring it inspiring him to play the piano again it's funny uh, he did uh, he there was a VH1 video channel did an Elton John weekend and they had this interview segment with him and one segment was had him talking about me it was very nice things very nice things he was saying and he said you know Bruce Hornsby inspired me to, to play the acoustic piano again so I saw this and I called him up just to say you know what a nice thing you said thanks a lot and he says well, great, you know, and and uh, just for your information, now I'm playing a sampled piano. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, like yeah, I said it, but I don't. I'm not really doing it. You know, I'm not playing acoustic piano. He's playing a sampled instrument now. But Elton has been a real supporter of uh, of mine. He, I've sat in with him before. We did Saturday Night Sorry right for Fighting another time at the Garden also. And uh, where we both got down on the floor and played the piano with our feet, and you know, is that right? It was just yeah. My wife was at this, yeah, out in the audience, and it just looked like a couple of little kids <laughs> fooling around in front of twenty. But having people. a heck of a good time. It's great. Wow. He's I, a good, I like really the, I like the version of Mad Men across the. Oh world. yeah. Well, you know, we, uh, we we took it to another place. It's a, sort of like the jazz version. It's probably the rawest cover on that album. That album is very sort of pop and slickly produced, but mm -hmm. our version is just piano, bass, and drums, and uh, it's a little angular, but we were proud of it because uh, I thought we took it to another place, mm -hmm. and it's not just sort of a regurgitation of the old version. That's my all-time favorite Elton album. And, and oh, Man, Man Across the Water is a great record. Yeah. Check out Absolute Zero. It's a brand new album from Bruce Hornsby. Highly recommended. There's a lot of stuff going on on this album. We'll have Another part of our classic interview with Bruce Hornsby, we've got two. I talked to him twice. Coming up next week, in the description of this video, you'll see the links to our other channels. If you like them, please subscribe. And please subscribe to this channel, please, if you haven't already. We're all about music news, you know, breaking news, but we're also about giving you an interview clip, an interview video every single day. These are all exclusive interviews. We have talked to these people. You won't hear them anywhere else. So make sure you share our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share them on Facebook. This is John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Mm -hmm.